they are getting the right advice from a shopaholic spend your money on stupid items here you go you are blessed to do that hi welcome to my channel my name is natalia and i am self-admitted shameless shopaholic and i share on youtube how i spend my money or if you will how i waste my money uh, so if you like shopping uh, affordable clothing luxury handbags beauty and all the stuff we women enjoy please feel free to join my anonymous shopaholic club down below and if you are shopaholic like me give a like to that video so we are not alone in today's video i'm going to do some fun uh, i think it was a tag but i don't know who invented that tag and where it is i couldn't find it uh, so a tag which is like five crazy luxury items which i'm going to spend my money on and i think it's really fun to like you know talk about it uh, and also i want to talk about why i think it's worth actually spending money on those items before we jump into it let me share my outfit of the day so today i'm wearing uh, this very green uh, look uh, with uh, top the top and the blazer are from zara and i'm just wearing levi jeans and sneakers from guess i think it looks really casual but still bright uh, and really nice and again this is an outfit that i was showcasing in my uh, zara haul recently uh, so you can check that out and i actually do, really do wear all those outfits that i style and i really enjoy uh, making outfits especially colorful ones so i hope you like it and i hope you get some inspiration out of it okay so let's jump into my crazy shopaholic spending which i'm planning daydreaming to do at some point of my life because i don't think i'm gonna be able to buy them soon at least some of them uh, so the item number one is chanel pearl necklace and this is something that i've been loving for years like i saw it years ago i went to chanel boutique i saw the price and i couldn't really understand what is going on and i love it so much that i actually went to the diy shop and i bought some pearls and you know i was making my own necklace which by the way has fallen apart but i think at some point i would drop that cash on this kind of necklace i checked now on in us dollars they retail for between two to four thousand us dollars and i didn't see exactly what i was uh, crazy about it i wanted this one which had smaller and bigger pearls and uh, it had the cc somewhere uh, so that necklace and i think this is such a statement this is such a chanel uh, and i think it's crazy expensive and especially this is of course not a fine jewelry piece this is just a custom jewelry which is you know fake pearls and we know that they might actually you know the quality of chanel custom jewelry is not that good but I, I have the best hopes. Uh, but I think I will feel very special every time wearing that necklace. That will be like a statement piece, something I will have for the rest of my life. And I will really enjoy wearing it. And I'm not planning to buy, buy enormous amount of uh, custom jewelry. Probably some pieces here and there, but I'm not really like into it. I, as you see, I prefer more like a fi fine jewelry. Well, that's also a reason. Partially the reason is because I live in Iceland, so whatever you have, it just gets black immediately. So uh, anyway, uh, so I'm really loving it and I want to buy that. And the second piece is I just found it a couple of weeks ago on Farfetch and I just cannot get this out of my head. And it is a Moschino Teddy Tote. Uh, so I'm of course uh, showing you pictures <laughs> on the screen. I know, I know. I mean, it's so funny. And you know, by the way, I'm turning 35 soon and this is my dream bag for now so I'm really on a fence and the price of that bag is actually not that high which makes it even more like you know I want it I want it I want it I think I might actually order it very soon uh, because I was thinking maybe it goes on sale so I shouldn't but then if it's popular and it's gone um, so yeah I'm uh, fighting I, ha I have internal fight with myself if I should get it or not but I really love and I think it would look so cute and cozy with a winter coat like a grey coat and me carrying the teddy bear which is actually a bag and you can actually put something inside hopefully you can put some reasonable amount of stuff probably maybe we will figure that out soon so the item number three uh, is Petite Mal from Louis Vuitton, but not the regular Petite Mal that they have with canvas. Uh, but I saw on their website a leather version with gold studs. So I'm, of course, again, linking, showing it here. Oh my God, that's the piece. But the, the price is crazy, of course. It's nearly 5,000 euro. And yeah, it's a lot of money. You can get a Chanel bag, uh, like a proper bag for this. And this is, of course, an evening clutch probably only even the clutch uh, as far people say it fits nothing but i think that would be like my ultimate 
evening clutch for the rest of my life. I think that would be something that I would take for dinners, for some events, weddings. And I specifically love the leather with gold studs because this is really an evening piece. It's very elegant, sophisticated, it's beautiful. Uh, I don't think that those canvas petite mouths that they actually really go for, I mean, I don't know, call me crazy, but I don't think they are really good for evening. I don't think that this brown canvas is very dressy and very elegant material. Uh, and perhaps it just doesn't go that well with my style, even though I do like canvas. It's not that I don't like it. I like it, but it feels way too casual for me uh, to wear it uh, for like evening occasions, weddings or some kind of, you know, uh, Christmas parties. I only hope that they will keep that petite mall uh, until I can afford it, uh, because now, well, even if I could afford it, it's probably not the wisest spend of my money uh, and building my collection. I think it's something for the future. And then I have uh, other, let me check, three items, which I'm cheating a little bit because it's supposed to be five items, but I have six items. I just added one at the end. Uh, so the next item that I want, I really want, I saw them in Louis Vuitton uh, stores on this place, the Louis Vuitton trunk. And specifically, I want that 24 centimeters trunk with pink interior. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. This is such a piece. And now, like, let me tell you why I think that this is totally worth spending money. I mean, we are talking about luxury, so of course nothing is worth really the money. But uh, if you are spending money, if or if I spend money in a luxury store, I want to spend it to an item that I enjoy. And it doesn't matter if it's a handbag or a shoes, a jewelry or a trunk that will be sitting on my dressing table or somewhere uh, in my house. Because every time I will look at this, I will love it. And especially in that era that we often work more from home than actually from offices. So I believe that this is really actually a good investment <laughs> yeah whatever but i really think it's, it's a good way to put your money because i believe luxury and anyway spending money is about you enjoying the item it's not about making the most wise decisions of course i'm not talking about making completely like you know wasteful decisions and, and buying some whatever random things which are you don't like uh, later but uh i love that trunk and there will be zero guilt buying it. I actually thought about buying it for my birthday, uh, for my coming birthday, but I think not this year. I, I have some other idea, some other item which I really want. Uh, so let's see if that can uh, happen. So yeah, Louis Vuitton trunk. Such a classic piece of Louis Vuitton, such a beautiful thing. And of course you can store your jewelry or whatever um, items there. So I'm totally there for it. And if anybody thinks about buying it, don't feel guilty about it. Your money is spent on what you love, not on what people think you should. Yeah, the wisdom from the shopaholic. Two items, which is like a fifth and sixth, it's their travel pieces. So maybe you can just put them all toge uh, both together. Uh, so the fifth item, which I was actually thinking, is the Louis Vuitton uh, travel uh, perfume bottle. So that, you know, cover for your perfume, uh, which again, I mean, it's not that crazy expensive because I think it's close to 500 euro. Uh, but for what it is, I mean, it's insane. What, like, what the f? Like, you know, you're buying a perfume holder uh, for five hundred euro to what? Keep your perfume and make your life more difficult to get the perfume every day when you, you know, want to spray it. I mean, that's stupid. Nevertheless, I want to have it, and for sure, even though it's a travel piece, I'm not going to use it for traveling because I don't want to make my suitcase heavier by putting perfume and actually carrying hundred ml bottle perfume. Uh, with me traveling, uh, which my travels are usually actually shorter. But anyway, uh, I'm off topic. Uh, but again, the same reason. This is beautiful and my eyes will appreciate that piece on my dressing table and I will totally love it. But first I have to actually get a little bit of perfume to buy the perfume bottle holder. Uh, yeah. I have a birthday uh, next month, so anybody, anybody, I'm accepting gifts. That was a joke. And the, the second item from the travel department, which I added at the end, and this is not something that I really crave to get it, but if at some point I will be in a position to get it, I might do it. And I'm talking about uh, Louis Vuitton luggage, but not the big luggage that you check in, because I, as we know, uh, unless I travel on a private jet, yeah, then yeah. But uh, normally I wouldn't 
stand. I am very like, you know, a pedantic kind of. And I was heartbroken that my luggage, uh, marble printed luggage from a uh, Primark was scratched in the first flight. So obviously the Louis Vuitton luggage scratches that I, I would get heart attack. So no, no. But the small carry-on luggage, uh, which you actually take with yourself, which I will travel holding my Louis Vuitton. I don't think it's dangerous on the airports from that point of view, because you have to carry your luggage next to you and you are not allowed to leave it anywhere and nobody's probably jumping on you and stealing that luggage from you. Uh, so I think it's safe and it's okay. Uh, and also I can, you know, take care of it and make sure that it's not being, you know, treated badly. And just imagine that big oversized Chanel uh, bag, which is on top of that luggage. Oh my God, what a flex. Yeah, that was daydreaming. You are getting the right advice from a shopaholic. Spend your money on stupid items. Here you go. You are blessed to do that. But that's how I uh, look at things. If I can afford this, uh, because for me, like, buying this stuff, it has to be afford. I can afford it. And I'm not taking you know loans or for it. It's, it makes me happy if I'm going to use it, even if the use is me looking at the item. I'm still happy. That's why we all have those beautiful handbags on display, because we want to enjoy them, even if we are not uh, physically using them, carrying them somewhere. Uh, so if the money is no problem, then why not? Or if that's your priority before another handbag, that's totally okay. Life is to be enjoyed and money are, are to be spent, because otherwise, like, what's the point? Thank you for spending time with me. I hope you enjoy, got some entertainment. Let me know what is your take on buying those kind of crazy luxury items. Uh, and until next time, bye.